The Calorique Roof De-Icing System for new construction and retrofit applications. During a renovation project in Maynard, Massachusetts, the homeowner turned to Calorique to solve an ongoing problem. A section of the roof over the rear entry and deck was prone to ice dams and freezing due to orientation, shading, and environment. Local contractor DB Quality Construction selected the Calorique roof de-icing system for its high efficiency, ease of installation, automated control strategy, warranty, and aesthetic appearance as the system is completely unseen when installed. The system is the same size as a conventional roofing shingle and it respects the nailing pattern of today's modern asphalt roofing shingles, whether three-tab or architectural. While homeowners and commercial property owners will enjoy the results of the Calorique roof de-icing system, contractors will enjoy the ease of installation and the positive results their clients will experience. This video is an overview of the installation process and does not replace the Calorique roof de-icing system installation manual. Before installing the system, it is important to thoroughly read the installation manual. Step 1. Preparing the Roof To install the Calorec Roof De-Icing System, the contractor does not need to make any special roof preparations. Just remove the old shingles and underlayment materials and ensure that the roof deck is sound and ready for new shingles. As in a typical roofing job, establish an ice and water shield at the roof edge. Install edge flashing, as well as the starter course of roofing shingles. The roofer then measures the area where the roof de-icing system is to be installed, usually somewhere between 6 inches to the outer edge of the roof to within 6 inches of the valley. There are two components of the Calorique roof de-icing system, the starter heating course and the roof deck heating course. The starter heating course is only used on the leading or starting edge of the roof deck. It uses a 2-inch heating element. The main roof deck heating course uses a 4-inch heating element and can be run in multiple courses as needed for ice dam prevention. Step 2. Preparing the heating elements. Either on the ground or on the roof deck, roll out the predetermined quantity of caloric roof de-icing materials. One end of the heating element will be fed to the junction box and the other end will either be terminated or will connect to the next set of heating elements. Locate the bus bar on the 2-inch heating element. Cut back the bus bar on both sides. This will ensure the connections are sealed under the roof de-icing membrane when installed. There are two ways to attach the connectors. By crimping the connectors onto the heating element first, then crimping the wires to the connectors. Or by crimping the wires onto the connectors first, and then crimping the connectors onto the heating element. Strip approximately a half inch from the end of each colored wire. Twist, then fold the wire down to a quarter inch and insert them into the barrel end of each of the connectors. Using the barrel portion of the calibrated calorie crimping tool, crimp the wires into the connectors. It does not matter which wire is attached to which side. Either wire can be the hot or the neutral. The green ground wire is attached to the center portion through the foil and the heating element. These connections are UL rated to 34 pounds of pull. Cut two equal lengths of 3M 2228 self-fusing rubber electrical insulating and sealing tape by cutting a 3-inch strip, then folding it over and cutting it in the middle. Take these 1.5-inch pieces of mastic and place one piece on both sides of the power connections, taking care to cover all exposed metal and wire. If a single run of heat is to be used, the opposite end of the heating element must also be cut back and the bus bar connection covered with mastic to insulate the cut edge of the bus bar. If an additional run of heating element is to be added, connect the wires as previously shown. It is important to leave enough wire at the end of the heating element in order to make proper connections across a valley and or other roofing structure. Step 3. Installing the starter course heater. 
make sure that the silver side of the heating element is facing up. Align the heating element with the bottom edge of the starter course of shingles. Peel back the poly release liner and carefully install the element along the roof deck. Smooth out any wrinkles and align along the length of the roof. This video shows the installer removing the second release liner from behind the element. Although this is one method of removing the release liner, we suggest you flip the element over back towards you and leave it in this position until you remove the entire second release liner. Once the release liner is removed, lay the element back down and smooth along the length of the roof deck. This second method is illustrated when the main roof deck heater is installed. Install the first course of shingles as usual. Although not clearly seen in this video due to lighting conditions and camera angles, the do not nail area is clearly defined on the heating element. Step 4. Installing the main roof deck heater. Following the same steps as with the 2 inch starter element, prepare the 4 inch heating element for installation as the second layer of roof de-icer. Cut back the bus bar area, strip the wires, twist, then fold the wire down to a quarter inch, and insert them into the barrel end of each of the connectors. Using the barrel portion of the calibrated calorie crimping tool, crimp the wires into the connectors. Next, Using the flat portion of the crimping tool, crimp the white and black power wires to the bus bars, securing each wire in place. Crimp the green ground wire to the center section through the foil. Use the 3M mastic to completely cover the connections. If a single run of heating element is to be used, cut back the bus bar on the opposite end and use 3M mastic to seal the bus bar. If an additional run on the same course is to be added, connect the wires in the same sequence as before. It is important to note that heating elements are used in increments of 50 feet or less in order to prevent voltage drop. Multiple courses of heating element and roofing shingles can be used depending on the requirements of the roof deck and climate conditions in the local area. Step 5. Installing the junction box. There are two options for installing and running the wiring for the Calorique roof de-icing system. Option one is to drill holes in the roof deck and run the wires to an interior junction box and wire as per code. This installation uses an externally mounted box. Place the box in the optimum location to accept the wires from the roof deck and where you can run conduit that will access the interior and main panel. Mount the box using exterior grade fasteners. Route the wires into the box, making connections as per code. Route the wires through the conduit to the main panel. Connect them to an appropriate circuit of the amperage and voltage required by the manufacturer's specifications found in the installation manual. The electrical connections to the control device and main panel should be secured using standard wiring practices that conform to all the requirements of the applicable electrical and building codes. Step 6. Sensor Placement The Calorique roof de-icing system utilizes a two-stage sensor. To ensure optimum function, the sensor should not be obstructed from weather conditions. Therefore, it must be mounted at the highest possible point on the roof. The sensor seeks temperature first. When it senses 35 degrees Fahrenheit, it begins to seek moisture. When moisture is present, the system turns on. Retrofit Applications In areas where roofs are prone to ice damming, but replacing the entire roof is not appropriate, the Calorique roof de-icing system can be easily retrofitted under existing shingles. While this video shows a retrofit installation under a newly shingled roof, you will follow the same installation steps when retrofitting an older roof. 
Determine the length of area to be heated. Roll out the appropriate length of heating materials. Cut back the bus bar and make the connections with the calorie calibrated crimp tool, as previously shown. Insulate the connections on both sides with 3M mastic material. Depending on the project, either insulate the cut end of the bus bar with the 3M mastic to terminate the element, or make additional connections to the next heating element. Carefully break the seal of the asphalt shingles using a wide flat tool such as a drywall taping knife or other appropriate flat edged tool. It is important to exercise caution when lifting the shingles to prevent breakage. Only a slight gap of 1 8 inch is needed to slide the heating element into place. Once the shingles are freed so they can be lifted, carefully remove the film from the adhesive and slide the heating element into place. There is adhesive on both sides so that the shingles will stick back down over the element. As with the non-retrofit installation, make the electrical connections to the control device and main panel using standard wiring practices that conform to all the requirements of the applicable electrical and building codes. The Calorique Roof De-Icing System is easy to install. The snow sensor actuates as soon as snow starts, ensuring zero snow accumulation, and it prevents ice damming. The system can be cut to size in the field or made into kits. The Calorique Roof De-Icing System, the most efficient, best performing, and best looking roof de-icing system on the market today. For more information, call Calorique at 1-800-922-WARM or visit us online at www.calorique.com.